Welcome yeah. back to Rise and Shine. We're chatting this morning with Janelle T. Lee Chi, who is the author of 40 Days, 40 Conversations with God. Let's clear that up. 40 Days, 40 Conversations with God. Good morning and welcome to you, Janelle. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It's nice to have you on our program this morning. Tell us about your book. I mean, first of all, is this your first, is this your first book? Yes, this is my first book. Every word in here I wrote and I wrote from my heart. What prompted this book? I've been traveling for over the last 10 years, right. and I'm a person who always writes when I'm going through anything. And so you grew up with a diary? Yeah, from mm -hmm. my teenage years, right? And by the time, like last year, I was going through a really low point in my life, and I was moving because I was at that time living in New York. And as, as I was going through the papers, trying to throw away those you know, excess pieces of paper, I realized a pattern that I've been praying and during my prayer or meditation and my life experiences, I realized that my prayers were being answered in ways that I didn't see at the moment. Yeah. I was so Is it that you hadn't realized at that point that the prayers were being answered? Is the prayers were being answered, but you didn't realize that they were being answered? Right, exactly. You know, sometimes you could pray for things and you don't even remember some stuff that you pray for mm. um, because you get so caught up in life and living. And then I noticed that, hey, I may have been going through something and I would have gotten a scripture reading or... Um, a passage or a prayer that was very much in line with the stage of life that I was in. So God was speaking to me, God was answering me, and I wasn't even aware of it at some point in time. And I was like, oh, this seems like a discourse. You know, I'm talking, I'm babbling. There are periods where I'm silent because if things not working out, I'm so annoyed or angry you just can't pray. at God. Right, I can't pray. You know, my life is not the way I want my life to be. I'm not talking to God right now. And then there are times when I would just be meeting different people along my path that would give the w right words at the right time. And, you know, I said, this is God responding. And I went through the collection of my prayers and I put them together. And I came up with 40 days, 40 conversations with God. And it's called a time to be sowing because this is the stage that I'm at. At that point in time, I was really just trying to sow these, great, these seeds of greatness. Um, and wasn't then at the point where I was realizing those dreams or those seeds. So that's why it's called a time to be sowing. What would have been the lowest point of your, if you can share, the lowest point of your life that would have prompted one particular prayer that stands out for you? Um, being hurt in a relationship and having to leave my home with nothing um, but the clothes on my back because my partner was... Um, a bit more on the abusive side, and it was for my safety, it was best that I just leave and walk away from everything. And at that point in time, it allowed me to pray in solidarity with people who, on a daily basis, don't have anything. Sometimes we take the simple things for granted, opening the cupboard and having food, or you know, being in New York and having warm clothes. Uh, that would have been one of the lower, <laughs> I've had many low points, but that was one of the lower, lowest points in my life. You know, I've heard of stories of people who were in fires and lost their homes or having to leave or having to flee a country for safety. But it's not until you're in that position you realize. And I'm someone who was really sheltered. You know, I always studied in school and I thought that if you live life and you do everything correct, then everything is supposed to work out. And reality yeah. is that doesn't happen. Some of these things could happen to you, no matter how prepared you are, no matter how much you think you're walking on the straight and narrow path. But it, it did make me more open to the human experience, and now I could use that experience to bring healing to other people through the book. Okay. Janet, <coughs> sorry. Out of failure, out of distress, you know, out of, out of uh, these things, frustration, you know, uh, comes opportunity. You know, uh, most persons may not detect or discern these opportunities. Mm -hmm. How do you, to, to do this book, uh, hope to assist people in realizing these opportunities and grasping and take it, making use of these opportunities? Okay, so my book encourages people to enter their own spiritual journey, their own spiritual awakening. And if you go through the book, there are places where I share a story, a scripture reading, a prayer, and invite them to go through and reflect on their own lives and their own stories um, and make notes as you go along. So once you, and it's a book you take your time with, it's 40 days, take 40 days to do the book and really let it sink in. By the end of the 40 days, 
when my readers go through the book and look at what they have written, they would have come to their own spiritual awakening, their own enlightenment. They should have a sense of empowerment at the end of the 40 days um, because it really allows you to go in and do a lot of introspection. Um, also, anyone who is entrepreneurial and wants to help sell my book, especially because um, they ask, are you selling it in bookstores? I prefer not to. I prefer to sell my book through, through direct sales in churches. And you know, mothers who may be single parents and people looking for extra income, if they already have that in them, they can use the book and sell the book. I would give them at a lower rate and they keep the profits, a potentially profits for themselves. So in selling the book or in reading the book, you could really use it to uplift yourself. And that has been the aim for me. I have noticed, I mean, no, no two chapters seem to be the very same. Right. Um, at the end of some, there's the prayer thoughts and reflections. Mm -hmm. At the end of some, there's just a prayer. Mm -hmm. um, and yet the opportunities I see at the end of one could be day, yeah, day two. Day two seems to be pretty short. Mm -hmm. um, and there's just a scripture, there's mm -hmm. just a scripture to it. Um, and there's just opportunities for persons to be honest with themselves. Sometimes, I guess, you can't say something to a friend, and sometimes you're probably too embarrassed to even say it to God. But right. if you write it, no one hears. Right. Okay, it's silence. So I guess there's an opportunity for, um, for persons to express themselves one way or another. Exactly. And you know, not every time you want to be burdened and go into depth in something. Sometimes the conversation has to be light. Sometimes the conversation has to be quick. Sometimes you don't, in a conversation, you can't always be speaking, you could be listening. So the book reflects that it's really a true conversation between yourself and your inner self and yourself and God. How on, God on, speaks to me. On, the, on the, the 40, we have the truth about everything here, truth about love, truth about God, truth about loving yourself, truth about uh, loving life and so forth. Yes. Um, yeah, day 40 turned out to be a lot of, um, <laughs> there are a lot of different times in the day, yeah? but love is a topic that needs to be explored. I think social media and um, Hollywood, uh, even Disney, I, I grew up as a Disney princess and a Barbie lover. The, oh. the concepts of love could be a bit false, you know, and I learned, I really learned what true love is, true love in God. And when God has a great way of just breaking you down till all you have is him. So that when he raises you up, the only person you could thank is God. People could look at you and say, yes, this person could love in this situation after this person did that to them. Yeah, because I have God's love and I learned that the hard way. So I really took the time in day 40 to talk about love. Because once you get the concept of love, you get the concept of God. And then the conversation really begins. Okay. Now, Janelle, do you have other opportunities for you to, for, for young, for you to speak to young persons? Do you speak to, to, to girls and young, young, young people generally about your experiences? Um, anyone I could speak to, yes. Um, have I been formally invited since this book came out as yet? No, because the book only came out last week. Right. But I welcome the opportunities. I always interact with young people. Sometimes I teach, sometimes I tutor. And even if we cross paths, I use it as an opportunity to talk and to share and to listen, because sometimes people just need a listening ear, you know? All right, very quickly here. Is there anything in this book that your parents had no knowledge of? Um, no, okay. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Something she probably, my mother probably preferred I did not put in the book. <laughs> I won't even <laughs> ask what. But, it's, but it's there, everything, everything is there, you know, because sometimes we suffer in silence because we are ashamed of things that happen to us. Mm -hmm. And I really expose myself in this book. I have some experiences, you know, with the whole Marshall incident and all of that. I was one of the people there. So I really touched on those things in this book okay. and to share, you know, share that experience with people, let people understand and heal from the things that I went through. All right, well, we're gonna leave it there, but Janelle, thank you so much for chatting with us today. No problem. And all the best to you. How can persons uh, pick up a copy of the book? You can order the book online at www.40daysbook.info. That's four zero, the number four zero, D-A-Y-S-B-O-O-K dot I-N-F-O. Or you can call me at 306-4496. All right, well, thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank 40 you. Days, 40 Conversations with God. We leave it there to Bego. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Now I get <laughs>